What's up, you guys? Um, so, you guys are probably wondering what this is about. Um, first off, I do apologize because my light's currently not working. So, I can't really do too much. So, you know, there is that. I do apologize for that. But a lot of people have been, you know, asking me a lot lately. Like, you know, dude, what's going to happen to your music? Like, when are you going to do music again? And it's definitely something that's weighed on my mind with everything going on. And... I've been weighing my options for, I'd say the last three weeks. I've been weighing my options in for like the last two or three weeks now. Um, I know a lot of people that support me, you know, do support my music and what I do. Um, as you guys know, I did put out a few records that people genuinely enjoyed. And I mean, genuinely. And, you know, enjoyed. And honestly, I kind of want to breathe new life into my music. Like, I want to take, you know, my music back where it needs to be. You know, like, I do have a unique sound that I've been working on for quite some time, and I want to continue to develop that sound. You know, I kind of want to continue to develop that vibe and that sound that, you know, I initially started to bring on with you know, utilizing different effects on my voice and this, that, and the other. Like, I do want to continue to, you know, bring that, you know, new metal vibe and that, you know, almost kind of like the vibe I'm going for, I think you guys will actually find very interesting. I'm going to play a couple of songs for you so you guys can get a, a fairly good idea of what I'm going for here. Let's see. See, I want to kind of go for like this kind of a vibe right here. Which I think you guys, I personally think you guys will enjoy this vibe. Guys, watch them. Thank you. 
Like you hear that synthesizer's kicking in? That's the kind of vibe I want to go for. Now, picture that mixed with something like this. Like, imagine skin meets these guys. Picture those two mixed with a little bit of these guys. Nah, I wish it was. But like... This vibe, I think, uh, this vibe I'm going for, I really think you guys will like a lot. Yeah. 
Like those screams with like the the skin and the corn vibe, like that's gonna be the sound with those kind of screams mixed with um this guy right here, which well it's not actually a dude, but like I'm trying to remember the freaking deal. Let's see if I can find it here. Like, imagine that mixed with, imagine those screams mixed with this kind of voice. Oh, yo, what the fuck? That did not just do that. Now imagine those four styles brought together in one sound. Like think about that. Like really think about that. All four of those styles mix into one sound. And that's literally the vibe that I'm actually planning on running with. I don't know why this is doing this. There we are. Yo, definitely. I definitely will, for sure. Thanks for the heads up. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Am I going to go independent or... Or am I going to be looking for a label? And the truth is, I'm going to be doing both. Like, I'm going to be releasing independent work while I'm looking for a legitimate label. And no, I'm not talking some stupid-ass, bullshit, fake-ass label either. Like, a legit label that would take me on. 
And who the fuck just texted me? But, um, like I said, I didn't want to do too long of a video for you guys. I just wanted to pop in here, let you guys know that I am going to be developing and working on a brand new sound, uh, brand new music, stuff like that. Um, I am going to be working on that, which I personally think is going to be fun. Like, it's going to be nice to, you know, be able to come back from all the drama and all the hatred and the bullshit and to finally be able to do what I've been wanting to do for fucking ever now. Like, I've been wanting to get back into my music, but never could due to, you know, all the stress and the bullshit of, oh, I have to be like this. Oh, I have to do that. Like, like now that I don't have that weighing over my head, you know, I can finally, you know, do stuff. I can finally, you know, jump back into doing my music full time. Um, I will be looking for a label that does pay, that will, you know, pay me to come aboard and, you know, work with them and stuff. And so if anybody out there does know any legitimate, and I do mean legitimate with the record labels that are willing to bring me on and to work with me, Hit me up on my Discord, email me, fucking text my phone, you know, reach out to me however you have to do it and let me know. So with that being said, y'all, I am about to sit down, relax, chill, check my social media, um, try to work on the sound a little bit, see what I can come up with. And who knows, hopefully by... Tomorrow, I should have a new song. I don't know. At least within the next couple of days, I'll definitely have a new song for, you know, for sure. You know, within the next few days, for sure, I will have a brand new song, 100%. Like I said, I do want to kind of develop those four styles into one sound. Because, you know, obviously, Corpse Husband, Corn. Uh, the dudes you just heard um, that did Smile Again, uh, Skinned. Um, even bands like Marilyn Manson, yeah, um, you know, Disturbed. Um, and even some elements of Linkin Park to a certain extent, you know, are like the main basis, as well as my good friend The Enigma. Um, if you guys don't know the Enigma, he does some super, super dope dubstep work. Like some of the best. So, matter of fact, let me show you guys one of his latest songs. And I think you guys will actually enjoy this, dude. Like, I haven't worked with this guy one on one, but I have, you know, used some of his, you know, instrumentals with his permission and stuff and whatnot. The dude's got some super dope stuff. The dude's known as The Enigma TMG, and his latest song is... Bruh, I know you gotta have something in here. Ah, here we go. This is one you guys might recognize. This mix you guys might recognize very, very well. Because this is actually a very famous remix.
This giant show has very famous dubstep remix. And if you guys do recognize this, this is the man that made this remix. I know y'all recognize this. Um, Enigma actually teamed up with this dude right here to actually do one of my personal favorite uh, Suicide Silence remixes, which kind of blew me away. Like, this one actually... Like... Like, seeing these two team up together, I was like, bro, like, they need to team up more often. And this was actually done eight years ago. And this is actually another famous remix that Hulk and uh, Enigma teamed up on. And this, personally, is one of my favorite remixes, which I used to have IMVU back in the day. And this is actually one of the ones I would DJ with. Yeah. 
I can't give you my hand. Oh shit. Just take that. Pepsi. Right here. Yeah, but yes, that being said, I'm gonna bounce, sit down, try to work on some stuff. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have a demo for you guys tomorrow. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, guys, love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Hope you guys have a good night and good morning, good afternoon, wherever you guys are at, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Be safe.